Many people, many people would prefer to see another being destroyed or going down. They, it would make them more excited when they see something bad that happened to someone. They begin to say, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah. You're supposed to say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. You're supposed to be sad when someone else is suffering a loss. But unfortunately, we are witnessing a growing number who show happiness at the loss of others simply because they're jealous or they've had a difference of opinion or they might have had a little bit of a, an altercation and now suddenly they're excited that this brother or this sister has suffered. We should never say they deserved it. No, don't say that. Even if you think they did, no. Because the next person in a problem could be you. Try and reach out to them. Offer some help because when you're in a disaster, you will also find others offering help. And that help when Allah puts it in your heart to reach out to others. Remember, it is Allah helping them through you. We always say this. I remember in this hall, I spoke last year and I remember saying, in fact, earlier this year, and I said, when you pledge to a certain cause that is a necessity, people are struggling, you've pledged. It's Allah who's giving them, but He loves you. So He's put it in your heart to give to the right place. So you can earn a reward while helping them. That's what it is. But if Allah wanted, He did not need to use you. He's giving you an opportunity. And when you help, you will always find that the Almighty will help you in other difficulties and hardships and in your own life. Like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Allah continues to assist a worshipper for as long as that person is busy helping others. So if you help others, you will be helped in what? In your own matters, in your own affairs. So thank Allah for this. 